Hi guys and girls, Miss Maselli here with your next math flip lesson of the week. This week we've been taking a look at solving multi-step word problems and so far you've learned three strategies to help you solve these problems in a more efficient way. So far we've taken a look at the strategy of organizing our data, we've taken a look at the strategy of using a number line and rounding, and then yesterday we took a look at using a t-chart as our strategy to solve these types of problems. Well today you're going to solve problems by using the strategy of drawing a picture. And even if you're not a very good artist, sometimes just drawing little bubbles or little circles or triangles or little dots can help you to solve a problem just as easily as if you were a fabulous artist. I'm not a fabulous artist, but sometimes drawing a picture is the best strategy that works for me. So let's take a look. Our guiding question today is how can drawing pictures help you solve tough word problems? In this lesson, you will learn how to solve multi-step problems by drawing a picture. Let's review. Pictures can help you solve tricky problems. Let's take a look at this problem. Mac had three apples. He dropped one apple and got two more apples from the fridge. How many apples does he have now? If I drew a picture, it would look a lot like this. There are my three apples, but then Mac dropped one of them. So I crossed them out. He got two more apples from the fridge. So, just by looking at my picture, I can tell how many apples Mac has now. A common mistake that many students make is not reading the entire problem. Here's the same problem, but now, notice I'm just writing a number sentence like this one. I see three, and he dropped one, so three minus one is two. But, that's incorrect, because I didn't read the part where he got two more apples from the fridge. So, if my answer was two, I would be incorrect. Let's take a look at this problem. There are five pencils on Jack's desk. Jill has four more pencils than Jack on her desk. Penny has three more pencils than Jill on her desk. How many pencils are there in all? I'm going to draw these pencils out. And notice, I'm not really the one drawing these. I had clip art to help me. So if you wanted to just draw lines for this problem, that would be totally okay. So I know that Jack has five pencils on his desk. So I'm going to start out with drawing five pencils. One, two, three, four, and five. There's Jack's pencils. There are five of them on his desk. And then the problem tells me that Jill has four more pencils on her desk than Jack has on his. So if Jack had five pencils, Jill has five plus four more pencils. So I'm going to draw my five, and then I'm going to tack on four more. One two, three, four, which gives me a total of nine pencils on Jill's desk. And then the problem tells me how many pencils Penny has on her desk. And she has three more pencils than Jill has on her desk. And we know that Jill had five plus four pencils, or nine pencils, so Penny has three more. So there's the nine pencils, and then one, two, three more. So in all, Penny has 12 pencils on her desk. So this is what my number sentence would look like. I'm not completely finished yet. It doesn't ask me how many pencils each student has on their desk. It tells me how many pencils are there all together. So here's my number sentence. I start it with five pencils, which were Jack's pencils on his desk. And then I'm adding Jill's pencils to that. And then I'm adding Penny's pencils to that number. So. I have a total of 26 pencils. Now, the beautiful thing about drawing a picture when you're solving these types of problems is that when you get your answer from your number sentence, you can go back and actually count how many pencils you drew. So, I'm gonna check just to be sure. It says 26 pencils down in my answer. I should count 26 pencils on my, on my drawing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I am correct. In this lesson, you have learned how to solve multi-step problems by drawing a picture. Let's take a look at some guided practice. We're gonna look at a similar problem. This time, instead of pencils, we have Halloween candy. So Maxine got 10 pieces of candy at Halloween. Her sister Jordan got three less than Maxine. Their older brother, Tim, got four more than Jordan. Their cousin, Alex, got eight more than Tim. How many more pieces did Tim get than Maxine? 
Remember to draw a picture of each of the pieces of candy that each person got using all of the pieces of data in your problem. Remember, if you get stuck, you can go back and rewind the video at any time to see how I set up my picture on the previous problem. Now that you've had a chance to solve a similar problem, how do you feel about using this strategy to solve multi-step problems?